Hello, hello, hello. Good night, everyone. Okay, so what's this video about now? This video is about um, Western culture, Western society, Western women. All right, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be raw. Uh, yeah, you know, um, uh, compared to the Old Testament times, right? Um, compared to, well, not Old Testament times. Compared to, um, you know, what, what the laws of God say, you know, about um, men and women relationships, you know, to what they are today. All right, now today, today's culture. Let's get down to it, man. I mean, as far as um, you know, straight, straight to sex. All right, um, women don't value their bodies. Um, women um, just have sex willy-nilly. Of course, with men, you know what I mean? Men and women, all right? But, you know, women give it away, men take it. It is what it is. Uh, women don't um, have no value whatsoever, you know, for their virginity. Um, the society, Western culture, American culture, they don't um, put a value on virginity. Matter of fact, virginity is something to be gotten rid of as soon as possible. It's like scorned. Yeah, don't know where that came from, how that came about. You know, you know, let's say America is a Christian nation, was founded on Christian principles. I would tend to agree with that that it was founded on Christian principles. Definitely, you can see it, you know, all over the society. You know, um, you know the history of it. Of course, no, today's not a Christian nation no more. You know, they're really in full rebellion against God. You know, they're at that phase in their culture where you know Israel was. You know, after Israel became a nation, you know, and God warned them and told them, okay, you know, if you, these are the commandments, if you obey these commandments, I'll bless you. If you disobey them, this is what will happen to you. So America is at a, at a point now where, you know, they just complete rebellion against God. Complete and op open utter rebellion. Um, along this path, you know, you know, with this, um, you know, the sexual revolution, even before that, though, you know, virginity wasn't, um, Woman's virtue was not um, something that um, the society, you know, really guarded. You know, now you know in the Old Testament, you know, you were to be a virgin when you get married. Mandatory. <laughs> if you weren't, you know, um, it must have been that you were raped, and if you were raped, the rapist, it is said, the rapist should, um, you know, marry the virgin or Unless the father said no, but what happened to the rapist normally is get you know he gets killed. In the case of Simon and Levi, with their sister Dinah, and the men of Shechem, and in the case of um, the Benjamites and the um, the concubine of the um, the I think it was a a Levite. I don't quite remember. In the case of um, Absalom brother that raped his sister um what was her name i forgot but um amnon right amnon raped his sister tamar i think it was and you know they often end up, end up dead so rape was not something that was done a lot in israel it was just it just wasn't done you know what i'm saying as a matter of fact i think tamar said to amnon you know why do this? And you've been known as a fool in Israel, you know. Yeah, it just was. It just something that wasn't done. Um, but we get, you know, getting off on a side topic here because you know people mock the law about you know if you, if somebody gets raped that a rapist was must marry the, uh, the the girl. They they laugh at that, but it's really genius. It's from the mind of God, you know. God's a genius. But I'm gonna say no. Old Testament society, God's society, God's idea is that women should be virgins when they get married. Okay, that's God's. That's from God's head. Virgin. When they get married, today's society, women they just give it away, and then when they get married, they put on a ring on the finger. All of a sudden, they stop giving it away. Right. So before they got married, they give it away to everybody: married men, single men, anywhere, anyhow. You know, video, whatever, whatever. And I've seen some of those videos. I'm, you know, guilty of that. Okay? Constant battle against pornography. 
guilty of that. So, just saying, you know what I mean? Um, and then, they get married and all of a sudden, both parties should be faithful. You know, you, you, it's, you don't just engage in activity and then because they put a ring on your finger, before you get a marriage license or marriage certificate, you know, it just stops. It doesn't work that way. Because what are you doing that before you get married, you know, you're practicing is a certain philosophy of life. You know, you can't just have sex because with anybody at any time anywhere because you know, you know, they call it dating. <laughs> dating, I'm dating somebody. In other words, I'm having sex with somebody. You know, that's what dating is. It's a disgusting term. I I hate that term because I know exactly what it means. Right? You can date all you want until you get married. Where does that come from? Whose idea was this? You know what I'm saying? Whose idea was that? That's just bizarre. You know? I just don't understand, you know, how, you know where this comes from, you know. Alright? I can test drive a bunch of cars until I find the right car. Is that how it goes? Right? You can't even do that. <laughs> you can't even do that. You can lease a bunch of cars, but you're paying for it. You know what I'm saying? Where does this come from? A woman's body is worth more than a car, way more than a car. Why do women do this? Why do they just just give themselves away like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, so, you know, I guess I'm just a weirdo because I have a, I, I have a Old Testament mentality, man. I mean, I I don't want, you know, you know, God would, God does forgive. You know, a woman can, you know, can change, become a, a Christian, be born again, and turn, you know, turn away from that time, that lifestyle, right? You know what I hate when I meet a woman who, you know, claims that she's a Christian, you know, and you know, born again, and when you bring up that issue of, you know, her sexual past, you know, it's like, you know. Yeah, you know, nonchalant, like, you know, oh, yeah, I slept with all these guys, you know, and that's it. Nah, <laughs> that is sick and disgusting. You know, it should be, you know, like, you know, you know, I'm sorry about that, you know what I mean? That was a mistake, and, you know, but now, you know, I'm born again, mind's renewed, I've, you know, I'm changed, you know, I'm moving forward with life, you know, you know, God is my Lord, Jesus is my Lord, and, you know, from this day forward, you know, I mean, I've shunned that, turned my back on that. That was bad. Moving forward, but now you meet a woman who claims she's born again Christian, and to her it's nothing. It's like she don't understand why you would even be upset about that she slept with a couple of guys before you know she met you and you know want to get into a relationship with you, a Christian relationship, okay? Christian courtship, you know? Because yeah, you know what? I I want to know what you know a woman has been through. It's very important, you know. It's like Women can do whatever, you know, we men and women can do what we want to. And then we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't ask about each other's arm history. It's very important. Your history, what you have done sexually is very, very important, you know, to your relationship in the future. Like I say, I struggle with pornography. You know, that needs to be said. That can affect, you know, my, my marriage, right? So, yeah, I'm going to ask a woman, you know, about her sexual, sexual past. And what I want to hear is, if she's not a virgin, what I want to hear is, she made some, made some mistakes and you know she's sorry about it and you know that you know she, God has forgiven her and she's a new person and you know and right if she's a virgin that's way much better you know what I mean but hey we make mistakes and God can forgive you know so the point of this video is just you know that I hate western culture I hate our uh, westernized women the mentality I hate the westernized mentality I wish more women Recognize the genius of God and go back to the Old Testament and live just like that. If women start valuing their bodies, you know, men will start valuing them. Wouldn't have this uh, this free for all, this uh, sex over sexualized culture. Men will res respect women, all right, and it will be much better for everybody. Wouldn't have you know all these abortions, birth control, you know, promiscuity, diseases, you know. Is a consequence of um of um this free for all want and sex. Okay? Sex is a precious thing that should be shared, you know, between in, in a committed relationship. You know, and that's usually marriage. You know, there's common law marriage, yes, you know, but anyway.
Jesus Christ is Lord.